broke his relationship with Russ Amber and brought in right into Lemieux's face and keeping him back. Jab, right hand. She will be interesting too. Look at the jab and the accuracy. And talk about with head trainer Abel Sanchez standing five feet ten and a half. Official weight 159, one half pound. This Olympic medalist now has a perfect professional record consisting of 33 fights, 33 victories, including 30 wins by knockout with 17 KOs in three rounds or less. And he has won 20 consecutive fights by knockout. He's recognized with having the greatest KO percentage in middleweight championship history from Karaganda, Kazakhstan in California, USA. The reigning, defending, undefeated interim WBC, IBO, WBA, middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple J. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner with his head trainer, Mark Ramsey. He stands five feet nine and officially weighs in at 159 and three quarter pounds. Wearing purple, his outstanding professional record, 34 victories, including 31 knockouts with 27 KOs in three rounds or less. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending, IBF, middleweight champion of the world, Mesdames et Messieurs, David Lemieux! Attendance in the garden tonight, and here we go. Any one punch. Golovkin landing a jab early on. He works mostly with his power shot thing to get him past the to get him past the jab and into Golovkin's wheelhouse. Let me rehab, jab, jab. It's like an experienced fighter against a guy who can fight, but not really the best at boxing. Use that jab, make him negate that first. Hockey box number. Careful first right into Lemieux's face and keeping him back. Right hand to the body by Golovkin. Go. Hasn't really. Another body shot for Lemieux. First loss of his career against Marco Antonio Rubio. That was when he broke his relationship with Russ Anber and brought in Ramsey. And the general consensus says he's been a better fighter. Lemieux trying to be more aggressive in this round. Lands a jab and gets inside for the first time. With his skill, and Lemieux has to figure out a way to land his power by hook or by crook. He will be interesting, too. Look at the jab and the accuracy with which Golovkin is... Little left hook lands for Golovkin. Jab right hand was blocked, but knocked Lemieux back a little bit anyway. And there's a hard shot from Lemieux. Right hand chance to catch him with a power shot coming in. Body shot by Golovkin. Right hand lands. Right hand lands again. Knocks Lemieux into the ropes. Left hook for Golovkin. Right hand lands again. Phenomenal accuracy. Unbelievable. Lemieux has never had to fight at this. Well, if the first round was good, this one. Gennady Golovkin landed 43 out of 77 punches. 56% doesn't mean Lemieux's out of it because he can knock Golovkin. Lemieux is trying to box responsibly against Golovkin, but hard to imagine him winning a boxing match. Before you begin to make bad decisions, Matthew Macklin was cut by Golovkin right on the solar plexus. Wonderful left in the world because no other high. He's here trying to give it all he has, and he really wants to try to win it. And he's earned a lot of respect. Golovkin with good defense. Lemieux has it coming. Flowing like water. By this. And Golovkin has already taken that away from him. With that jab. Left hook. Hey! Now that Golovkin constantly working off of that jab. Attack with the right hand. Then it's just a jab. 
Jab to the face. Jab to the face. Jab keeping him at bay. Doing a wonderful job using that long jab to keep Lemieux out of punching harm so that Lemieux can't land a big punch on him and he can attack Lemieux first. And that's been tremendously to the advantage of the bet. And you saw the calm in the corner as Abel Sanchez said, keep doing what you're doing, and then we'll pick out the moment at which you're going to land the big shot. Harold, how do you have uh, Golovkin, I definitely would have a game plan. Three and make them think totally different of what they thought coming into the fight. And the old adage is everyone has a plan until they get hit. He throws a beautiful left hook while blocking a beautiful left hook at the same time. Lemieux threw his without defense, but Triple G threw his with absolute marvelous defense. You know, I mean, that's just, you don't see it. That's colossal. <laughs> Round five. Gennady Golovkin has thoroughly dominated the first four. By the time he does that, Max. <laughs> Ruffled Lemieux. Get hooked to the back of the head by Lemieux, too. And by the way, we haven't even inches. No holding. Nothing unusual. They're just... Hard right. Vicious body shot with the right hand. Jim, his feet are always spread, always set to... Shoulders balanced. And says over too much to one side or another. And your feet will always be solid underneath Oh, you. that body shot hurt, Jim. Down goes Lemieux. Golovkin hit him once while he was down. Only a few seconds left in the round. Here you see Triple G just like uh, Chocotito. Head, head, then followed by a beautiful body shot. Left body shot to the liver. And you saw him go down, but this was a bad punch. I would have gotten disqualified for that punch. That's right. You sure. already did get disqualified for that punch definitely got disqualified. Might have got, might have got banned from boxing for that. Instinctual following up on his advantages, but it tells you Golovkin's mentality here. He knows this is the fight that is the door to superstardom. And he wants to take advantage of every little opportunity. And he's fighting with supreme concentration. Absolute devotion. Only the second time in his career he's tasted the canvas. There's another hard right hand by Golovkin. Lemieux backs into the ropes. Keeping that pressure on Jim. Hard Ooh, left hand punch. by Lemieux. Landed his money punch right on Golovkin's chin. And that's... Now Lemieux starting to throw caution to the wind and crease. Body again, didn't catch him quite the way he did the first time. Like that, and fight this strongly after. And that was a good body shot by, by uh, Lemieux. It was a good idea. Yeah, it was a wonderful idea. Or hittable after scoring a knockdown. Out. Just who he is. Catches him coming in with a left again. Oh, good up. Round seven begins. We're halfway through the fight. Harold David Lemieux should have cut his hand before this fight. In case, Pierce and Megan, I think Golovkin keeps working that left jab. Uh, beautiful left jab, right hand combinations. He gets an extra point for the knockdown. If it's costing him the fight. I agree with him. Big time. Knows possibly it's broken in his power. He's not looking for a way out here. Not at all. Good hook by Triple G. Right hand over the top by Triple G. Big shot by Lemieux with the right hand. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Lemieux is hurt against the ropes. Turn Lemieux sideways. Gennady's got him cornered. He's not laying down for nobody. He's taking a terrible beating. Yeah, the referee wants to stop it. One or a good one to change anything around. He's in the fight. But he can't get away from the jab. Gonna be a little bit closer, David. Mm. 
Oh, no, no stoppage so far as we go into round eight with targets of David Lemieux. Head still goes off to David Lemieux, though, because a lot of us never having, not only surviving, but having chances with those big punches that he's... Punches landed against the fighter. In a sense, that fighter's the toughest guy he's fought. Exactly. Good right hand. Michael. Hard left hook. Into the ropes. The body shot hurt him again. Steve Willis is going to stop the fight. Technical knockout for Golovkin in the eighth. Willing and ready to go. There are the jabs. Caught a hook and still throw a beautiful overhand right. Much like we saw him do in the, in the fight with Gill. Take a big punch and land a bigger punch. There's a body shot coming in here somewhere. Triple G's on the attack right here. He throws that jab, beautiful overhand right. Another jab, right hand, left jab, another right hand. We never talked about the footwork, Roy, the closing down the ring, but that's another big part of this. And that was the body shot, and there you saw him look. Yeah, and, the body shot really And that's why it. the referee stopped the fight. Yeah. He should have taken a knee there if he wanted to continue, but his pride probably wouldn't let him go down. He cuts off the ring so brilliantly.